this is Matt Allen from the Aviation RC New Podcast, and I'm here to introduce the Aviation RC New Wonder Micro. And it uses the Flight Test Easy Pad <coughs> and it's about a half a sheet of foam board. And I'll kind of show you how to get set up. So we've got our parts cut out from the sheet. And a lot of these lines are score cuts. And these score cuts are designed in such a way. So I believe this is how it was set up, right? On the sheet. <clears throat> so this is designed in such a way uh, that you can fit two to a sheet. And these score cuts, uh, when you do make the score cuts, you can remove them and they're, they're optional, but you can remove them and it'll create the exact same uh, new wonders, at least the pattern that we had at Flight Fest 2023. If you were there and flew, this is a uh, Joe's pattern with the blue and, and the orange as opposed to mine, which was the orange with the blue, uh, which I have an example of it nearby and I will show you uh, later. But let's get to it. So once we've got to cut out and uh, you can spray paint this and mask off certain areas and spray orange or blue or whatever colors you want. Um, once that's done, uh, I use tape because it creates an easy, simple, bright coloring scheme that works really well. And, and then we'll assemble it. So let me uh, take off all the parts that need to be removed and we'll get down to the basics. So we'll speed this up. This one has the lines on both sides. <coughs> and <coughs> All right. So we're with the wing on the side. Actually, let's finish up the color, and we'll go from there. Okay, now I've got our parts cut out. The only thing we really need to do to protect this is as you're going to fold this front edge, uh, you're going to need to protect it as you roll it. So you need at least one piece of tape. And you're probably going to want a couple more.
So now we've got our pieces. Um, last little bit is to, remember you're supposed to score on the underside. So you remove this. <clears throat> Don't you want to go ahead and do that? Apparently, mine isn't cooperating. <clears throat> okay, from here, you're going to make a, you're going to squish. Use the back of the X-Acto blade or a permanent marker maybe. I found that this actually makes a big difference in how easy it is to roll over. Now when you roll over, you want to do it in a way that keeps the front and back So these line up as best you can. It's basically rolling and pressing along as you go. Let's see that it opens up. <clears throat> You'll have a notch here, which is on purpose. Okay, but to keep this, you're going to get some hot glue. You're going to Put it in the middle, you're going to kind of heap it in, and you're going to do the same on the other side. And as a placeholder, you're going to place this in here, and you're going to let it sit for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, now that I've removed it and it really isn't doing much in the way of expanding, I'm going to put a bead of glue along the bottom and then bead of glue against the top. I'm going to line up the image. And then also you're going to take this and put it under the leading edge. This way it's symmetrical. And then you hold this here for a good 20-30 seconds. Give it a wing and it's going to have a little bit of a slight bend. You're in good shape. You also have two marks here and here. And those are your guide marks for glue. You know, one on either side. This is going to fit snugly in here. The important thing is this line is a little bit up. It's okay if there's a little gap there. We're going to do the same to the other side. Line of glue. <clears throat> You're also going to look up and down and just sort of check on symmetry. Okay, we've got there, that there. We're going to do the same thing on the winglets. Put glue along the edge. Take our, this is our left side. And you center it as best you can. Putting the front at the front and the back will hang off a little bit. Make sure it's straight as you can. Let's hold it vertical and wait. Same thing on the other side.
you have any excess that's kind of smearing out, you have a short amount of time you get to work with it. So take a moment and do that. Looks like we're generally okay here. Move all the excess. And we're on the final stretch. I'm going to leave this here. And we're going to concentrate on this, which is our centerpiece. Um, this is going to act like um, most flight vest doublers. We're going to need a, it's like a C fold almost. So we're going to put this in there. Put the glue there, and then we're going to do a uh, perimeter. So this is set to be flexible, and you'll see that this gap is exactly the shape of your wing. <clears throat> so you're going to slide it in all the way forward. And this little piece, you're going to want to pinch. This is your dry fit, so we're going to pinch it so it slides easily into the top. <clears throat> I think we're in good shape. So you put a little bit of glue and we'll put a little bit of glue back here. So let's see what we can get done. Line it up once again. Push it into the tab here. Press down firmly. That should live, leave you with a little hole right about there. That's to sneak your motor wires through. And then last but not least, we're gonna put this back part, glue it down. And that's just basically lining it up with a little tab slot. Okay, we're going to use our table as our friend on this one. This hot glue is hot. Press it down. So I'm just sort of waiting for it to dry. And this is being stubborn. That's okay. It may happen. What we have is tape and hot glue don't mix terribly well. Use my marker to color the top in black. This part of the canopy. Okay. Voila.
Hi there, uh, this is Matt from the Aviation RC New Podcast. Uh, as you may have known, we have designed or worked with um, Dan Spons to design the um, the Noob Wonder. And so we've made a, if you went to flight test or saw some of our videos, um, this is a micro version of those planes. And we've got uh, plans that we're gonna release as PDFs. Um, and I have a build video that I'm putting together right now, so they're probably available. Um, it uses the FT Easy Pack, and with that, I've also learned that you could see a video somewhere here um, on how to bind it to your T16 or your OpenTX platform. Um, but we're here to see how this thing flies. Now, I'm pretty certain it's going to fly really well. I did a balance test. You see that it balances just a little bit ahead of that crease. Looks like we're ready, so let's give it a go. Not with that battery. Okay, um, it's now starting to gust, so let's see if we can fly here. See how it goes. on this one. Okay, maybe not. Let's try this again. Nice. So uh, it flew really good. Um, I'd say somewhere around 50 to 60 percent throttle. Uh, we had some wind gusts in there that kind of picked it up. Um, I think we added a little bit of extra weight, about as much as a nickel, uh, right behind the battery in the back of the compartment here. That seemed to help calm it. Um, so make your adjustments as you need and have fun flying it. It was really easy. Um, when you make the turns, just make sure to beef up the throttle a little bit because as you turn, you lose lift. So the faster you go, the more lift you'll get. So remember that and uh, you'll have a good time. All right, phone me down. Th out. Thanks.